Welcome back to Marietta Esports. We are about to start the second game of the day, which will be our Valorant squad going up against Heidelberg University. I'm Evan. I'm Zach. Let's get started. So, roster for today is going to consist of... Levi, who is going to be Taku in-game. He is our flex player. And now, next up is Octavio, who is a initiator player. Yeah, Octavio, great initiator player. We're also going to be having um, t Tyler. Tyler is going to be the controller player, or he's going to be flexing over to that Sentinel role. And then we're also going to be having um, McLovin, which goes by Ian. Ian is an awesome, you're gonna be either playing controller or sentinel today. He loves bringing out that omen. And then we're gonna be moving over to Bubs, which Tyler as as well, another Tyler. So we're definitely gonna be calling about their in-game names here. So we're gonna get, get confused very quickly here. He's gonna be playing that duelist role. If you wanna see some frags, we're gonna be watching Bubs a lot today. He's gonna to be popping off with that Reyna as we all love to see. Once again, we also have the coach for today, which is the one and only Coach Games. Um, he's also been putting a lot of work in for this team, trying to help them find their way. Um, one thing to note is we are playing with a sub today. Our main, our, our main five consists of Trey, Tyler, Tyler, Ian, and Octavio. But sadly, Trey will be out today, and in his place will be Levi. So we'll have to see what they can do with the start of this uh, season, sadly being one main man down. I've um, watched uh, Taku play. Um, he has been grinding that. He knew who was going to be in the day, so he's been grinding that out, making sure that he can perform for his team. We're going to see him try his best here and going to be a great um i believe he usually is being on the flashes role so you might see a lot of sky might see some might see some kj come out i've seen him play that or maybe some neon if they really need another duelist in that position mm -hmm. we'll have to see what the maps come down to today uh what they end up banning out and what they end up picking because again it's valorant very um Map dependent. Map dependent on comp. So, what personally I would like to see a bind come out. It's favorite map. I believe opinion. that if we see a bind map, that's a Marietta dub right there. Check it off the list and the stream. We don't even need to see it. We'll come back and it's going to be one to zero if we get bind first. That's exactly. just going to be a very easy W for us. Bind. We know cilantro is an insane cipher player. And we so, did just get the confirmation that map one will be bind. All right, guys, we're going to end the stream now. We're just going <laughs> to see it later. We're just going to go right into the victory. I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. I'm just joking. We're going to watch out this game. Anything can happen in Valorant. We could see all of the roster for Heidelberg absolutely pop off. Exactly. We're rooting for the home team, of course. But we're going to see... Bubs, McLovin, Taku, Cilantro, and Critical Miss all go out into an all-out brawl. So real quick, before this game starts, we do want to say thank you to the Over the Moon staff, uh, which is a huge supporter of the Marietta Esports team. They have little game nights that they do where they stream our games on their computers and will have pizza around and they're all just great family to the Marietta Esports site, uh, Marietta Esports uh, team. So thank you over the moon. Alrighty, over the moon, amazing sponsor, amazing pizza. So of course, any place you get pizza and get to watch a game, of course. Now we are in lobby and waiting for this game to start. Should be happening very soon here. Uh, also just got confirmation that map two will be Haven, another fun map. Ooh. Again, in my opinion, as long as it isn't uh, Pearl or Fracture. Which that you're wrong on. I love Pearl. Pearl is you're a gross. harbor map. Any true. map you get to play harbor on is a good map. <laughs> At the moment, I don't believe we have a harbor player, like specifically just harbor. Mm -hmm. But if this team works out, they get that double smokes meta going, it'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see the util usage happening here. So we'll have to just see what happens. I'm super, super excited to um, watch what happens today. Yeah. 
Um, match is going to be close. And uh, we're going to be going over the Heidelberg roster here. going to be calling out some of their names here. So we have Mr. Nice, Skillful Spade, the Mudkip 2003. I believe that is... Ra I don't know how to Raiderx. Raiderx? We'll just call him Raid. Call him Raid. That'll be good. <laughs> Make it easy and then for ourselves. Miller Rocks 23. And here the map has been selected, ladies and gentlemen. We are close in it now. This is going to be an insane match between these two teams. Heidelberg and Marietta are rivals. This first game, we are coming out swinging. I believe they are getting ready to start. I here believe soon. that's their. That is also theirs, At the yes. moment. I'm just going to mute myself here, just so I'm not... No one can hear me, of course. There we go. And I'm muted and stuff. Lovely. Close. There we go. Now I'm all muted. I can't hear any comms, of course. Can't do any fun stuff like that. As much as I would love to help my team, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I believe they are getting in a specific order. Um, I also believe... Th I don't know if we were attacking or defending first. Well, I can't confirm that, but there is also something I, I can't I believe confirm. we are... Um, we might be attacking first because it seems that they're switch switching sides. Agreed. I thought they might be getting into like the the um, player four. Oh, they are switching sides. No, mm, maybe. We don't know. Come on, I really do like seeing um, a defense first. I would. That's agree. just me. On bind, I believe that Marietta's comp really depends on on uh, the def defense first. Alrighty, and I did just get confirmation from our head coach, Coach Games, that our third map of the day, if it comes down to it, will be Pearl, which is another fun map. Yes, I, I mean, love I'm Pearl. not a big fan, but... I love Pearl. We'll have to you see just, what happens. You've just never played Harbor on it. I'm just not a Harbor player. You're just not a Harbor player? Uh, where's all my controller mains out there? Come on. We exist, I, I promise you. We do exist. <laughs> So we should be getting started here soon. Well, I just have to see. Um, exactly. No. Um, be uh, another shout out here to one of our amazing sponsors that helped make this make this program and help have this program just be as awesome as it is. By Blue Light. By Blue Light, they make blue light um, canceling glasses. So when if you ever get that eye strain after gaming for multiple hours in a day, we've all had it happen at least once. These blue light glasses are going to help and stop that eye strain. And, yep, it's just a great company helping out Marietta College and a lot of other colleges. So a yeah, big shout out to a them. a ton of sponsors, and we're super proud to be one of the colleges that they chose to sponsor for their esports. See, we are swatch swapping sides, so we will be taking an attacker-sided um, approach here first. Man, attacker side. This one's gonna be a little bit hard. Right here, I believe the comp that they really want to run is going to be a um the comp they're gonna run is a very defensive comp. And we're asking for ours if we are ready. I'm surely ready. Let's see if Marietta and Heidelberg are. I'm excited and ready to cast this round. It is going to be an amazing, amazing half. Agreed. Here we are on attack first. All right, we're seeing all these players lock in. Here we are looking at all of them. So Millie Rocks is gonna instantly lock that Viper. Viper on bind is an amazing pick. That is a great one for that. And then we're gonna see. I wanna see Cilantro if they're gonna run a double duelist. Oh, I really wanna see Cilantro pull out that Cypher. Cypher is so good on this map. You literally just have control of one site the entire game. But KJ can just completely take a site with her ult. We're gonna see the Mudkip locking in that KJ. We're gonna see the double smokes perhaps. Sova and the Jet. Jet did recently receive a nerf, so he's they're not quite the same as it is before. At the moment, um, Octavio's or Critical Miss's beautiful face is blocking out the <laughs> awesome um, uh, oh, Brimstone lock that they just got. And now we're going to see Marietta really taking their time and deciding where they're going to do that. As, as we see at the moment, it's a little bit misshapen of where it's supposed to be. Marietta College on the right versus um, Heidelberg on the left. Just a little bit weird there. So... You're swapping it over Select just a little bit. Select your agent. You see? 
Come on, see. select okay. agent. We're gonna select see agent. spicy cilantro. Okay, so a little bit more of an aggressive comp, really. Actually, very defensive. Taku on the sage, McLovin on the omen. And we're gonna see cilantro on that KJ, the Octavio, or critical miss, on that KO, and Bubs on that Reyna. Reyna is actually not a bad pick on this map. We always have, you know, that ranked stigma that like, oh, it's a Reyna, they're just gonna go and lurk the whole game. But Reyna actually can really combo with these Omen Smokes to flood out on the site. Because what you really wanna do with this A site is flood out, get that wall up with Sage, and then get the plant down. And then KJ can play for Molly's and her turrets can hold the defense and everything. And now we are here in game. See this nice Viper wall here. That's a good Viper wall. Really does cut off all of sight there. We're gonna see KJ really playing there. No charges left. I'm already seeing Octavio holding out that knife. There's Nick Lovin. Knife, and here it goes. Already trying Bubs to Bubs entrying. They're just going for very aggressive push off the bat. Okay, they don't see anyone on sight. Oh, and that's gonna be Hiddle getting the first pick of the round. Trying to go in here, and that's the first one down. McLovin really trying to play here. Raid is really getting these nice picks in, but everyone is low. Which could go right away. That's a great collat. Mr. Nice with the collat there. It's going to be pushing up here, and it's just left to Cilantro. See what he can do here. Cilantro. Oh, can't get the picks that dash through, and that's going to be a flawless round for Heidelberg there. Raid holding down the fort. And then Mr. Nice with that beautiful collat there. That was a great, that was just, everyone just pushed it and straightened the hookah. That, and there really, really wasn't a lot of util used there. It was just great gunplay from Raid. And now we're gonna see the setup here. It looks like it's gonna be a shower push from Marietta here. Mm -hmm. Have to see what they're gonna pull out here next. Saw a very aggressive push on the start of that. We're gonna have to see what they decide to adjust with. Let's see. Is that the knife thing. going out, giving away their positioning? Of course, and that's gonna be the first smoke going down. See how he deals flash with this. Through. Good flash through, but doesn't quite get a flash through. They don't, they're not checking their corner. He still dies. It's a, kill. it's a great kill, but Spike, Spike is down. down a. Bubs lurking pushing around. Pushing in the, in the lamps here. Oh. Tags out. Cross from Cilantro. See him lurking in. Oh, they just miss each other. Is he gonna walk through? Oh, but he still dies! The trade! What amazing. Bub's got the jump on him, but now they know. The gig is up. Put it in the same way. Dragging off spicy. each other. It's now even. It is 2 2, except Cilantro. Very low, and that's gonna be a headshot. It's all Mr. Down nice. To Bub's. Bugs, beautiful spray. Super heavy damage, but that's gonna, walks in. That's gonna be Raid getting that pick. That was a very scrappy fight. We saw the lamps control really was amazing for um, Marietta there. The lamps control really got them those, those picks and they're really good at playing off each other. It's just the shower push was not coordinated enough with the lamps push. If you're gonna be a split push like that, you have to coordinate so both explode out at the same time. I'm gonna see him running a 2-3 split on defense. And really, all you gotta do on attack is keep prying those rounds away. The more you can take off, the better off you are, because defense is key in this game. Slow as it goes up to B, trying not to make any noise. Looking for info here. On site. So you slowly, slowly creep up. Cilantro holding there. Critical miss. Slowly peeking up. Bubs slowly pushing long. Now on site. This is where it is. Big nice. pick. That's an insane pick on the bonus. But they don't know. They don't know. That's an amazing pick. The push. It's good. And now we're going to get the plant down. Marietta in the driver's seat this round. Spike is now down. And I believe they're going to go for the wall off. So good wall off. 
Millie, Miller Rock is gonna be lurking up here in elbow, but sees that Taku with an insane kill. Taku does go down though. One it's two to three, and now it's one, one and three. Know they know where Millie Rock is. Millie Rock has to pull out a miracle here to do this three v one clutch. Let's see. Can is Heidelberg able to do it? They see his gun. And there nice. it goes, critical miss. What an insane! That you can't really clear that. There's so many angles there to look. What a great, great performance there by Marietta. They really were, that's what you want to see. The hookah push. The hookah push was doing great. <laughs> Apologies, looking at chat, there's someone putting some very funny, funny banter in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see what they the just do now. Thing. Still rocking that 3-2 split, more heavy on the A side for... Heidelberg. Heidelberg, yep, just sitting there, <clears throat> chilling it out. Mudkip and Millie Rock. They're on their bonus, seems. Oh no, or Eco. Definitely on their Eco running. Full buy round for Marietta. The guns are in Marietta's favor. Let's see what they can make happen with this. Let us see. Bub slowly lurking up. Making do have to watch for that rain all do though, see if you can take over. Here. Here's a peek. The jump spot. They know. The gig is up. Have to shoot the dart. They don't Ooh, shoot it. By it. No one's there. The jump spot. Oh, the, there it is. The gig is up. Buds has been seen. The full rotates. <laughs> Everyone going in. McLovin gets an amazing pick. A lurk pick there, and they're coming back to A. But Heelberg is not moving. They're not rotating. They're running into a two-man stack. They know. Mudkip's holding this angle, this tight angle. The blind goes out. He's holding it so long, no one spots him. Cilantro goes through TP, and that's gonna be... Oh, he misses! Taku, what an amazing spray! Now they have full control of A. What an amazing flick by Taku, saving his team, and Bob's are going for more. He's going in. Gets smoked off there. Just gonna be able they to play just, out there. They can just play this slow now. Play this slow, and we see oh, there we go. Make loving out. getting that. What an insane play there! That's great. Marietta in the driver's seat. It was a great eco round there. For that, for that eco round, actually, that was the worst case scenario for Heidelberg. Heidelberg did not get any picks, and now they're going to be forced onto another low buy. The only person that can really buy are Mr. Nice and Raid. This low buy is going to go great for Marietta. Marietta has the long range guns. And on bind, if you push A, you need those long range guns. The pick. They keep running the same there was three, a pick, two. The, if the Mudkip got that pick, that would have changed the entire game. You get that Vandal, you can do so much. Look down, they're running, Marietta's running into a stack here. Let's see if they're able to actually handle this stack. Heidelberg's adjusting, they're pulling over there two from B. This is a big stack, they know, they know. The gig is up, they're rotating. It seems Marietta knows, but we're gonna see McLovin slowly lurking. Mudkip is just chilling in that corner. Knows exactly what he's trying to do. McLovin slow as it goes, and there's the execute, and there it is, Mudkip getting full blind. Lamps gets their pick in the lamps. Buzz is running it down. Placing cilantro, covering the plant. This is beautifully done. Taku running it in a critical miss with that. Gonna get two flawlesses in a row. We're gonna see skillful spade. This is the worst case scenario for eco round. Another flawless. On that eco round, you need to do damage to the other team's eco. That is three rounds in a row that Marietta has won. And their eco is out, it's just off the charts. We're gonna see that if Heidelberg does not win this round, they're gonna be so far behind in creds. They have to buy this round. If they do not buy, they're going to be sunk. It's a very surprising start of performance for our sub coming in, Taku. Very happy to see what he's doing here on the stage. Taku has <clears throat> improved immensely. Went from a sub to doing the best that he possibly can for his team. And the gig is up. Bubs has been seen by that recon dart. Still committing. They don't see anyone with that knife. Bubs are going in. Oh, what a lineup! What a beautiful spray! And Raid is at one HP. 
Raid has to resort back and boom, the wall. This is exactly how you play Spike behind. Planted. Bubs just playing slow, waiting for his team to get there. They do have. And we see Heidelberg getting into position. This retake is very possible with all these UK that they have. Oh, Taku, what an insane pick! They're all just stuck in this backside. Taku is not letting them get anywhere. Yeah. Calling for elbow. It's going to be pushing in here. This might just be a save. They cannot execute on a site with only three players. Well, one at one HP, they're, they're just going to save. Gonna save, which is pretty smart considering the last couple of rounds. And everyone's just going to take TP. Going to save. They have to save there. If they do not save, they just can't. They can't do anything. And you can't do damage to Marietta's econ because they're full. I'll choke their sight. These Valorant players, man. Let's see. Four rounds in a row. This is great momentum and for Marietta. And Bubs, as we know, the fragger of Marietta. He is absolutely busting it down and pulls out the op. And Can't look at this buy from Heidelberg. This buy is so low. They're rocking all Here's low shields, up. one high or or one uh, heavy shield, and one no shield. Two, three. That Sova is going to be very vulnerable. Very vulnerable indeed. Now we're gonna see. Slowly watching Lamps here on Bub's POV, but we're gonna see that McLovin has bait his way back into shower. This execute that they do is just really doing. Uh, Spicy cilantro might be getting in trouble. First op shot brings out. Spicy gets the first pick and then gets out. Going back for more. Oh, there's one more. We hear the Raid. comms from the other. Raid is here. Bubs get that pick. That pick is amazing. They might execute onto A. McLovin staying for a pick. They're going on to B. Playing cat and mouse here. There's a flash. And there he goes. Cilantro there he picks. goes. Cilantro gets a pick on the raid. And we see the rest of them walk over Sage, bringing that Mud diffuser. Kit. They might just save again. They can't push onto site. If they push with two, no one on Marietta has taken a single point of damage. And again, they all have ultimates that they haven't committed. Literally, just now, I guess uh, Heidelberg has to come in here and just try to do something, some sort of damage. The alarm bot's there. They know. They know they're in spawn. He peeks out. This is, look at this insane crossfire. And McLovin's just going to go for the pick. And McLovin Another gets two. Flawless. What an insane pick for McLovin. McLovin just pushed out there. That's a flawless. Marietta's eco is out of this world. Look at that. They could buy for 10 rounds straight if they wanted. There's there's no way. The ball is rolling. And this might be... This isn't even the... This is the first round that Heidelberg can actually buy full guns. And regardless, they still aren't even able to full buy those heavy shields. They can't buy those shields. So they're act, they're just going to be losing these these they, gunfights. They, and they have the better comp for defense with that double, con, with that double controller. So now we're going to see... Bubs looking down mid. Zoom out. Let's see. As low as it goes. I see Cilantro. Up mid. Oh, oh! A little bit of server lag there. No, Marietta is in a very rural part of Ohio, so... <laughs> oh! The straight by the Molly! The Molly oh cut off lamps, he couldn't run! You can hide, but you cannot run from critical miss! And now we're gonna see the XQ on the B. There's only one. Mr. Nice gets for pick, finally! The first kill they've gotten in first three rounds. First rounds, and we're gonna see critical miss. Doesn't quite know, he is aware! There's the knives. They're rotating on to A, but they're running into a stack. Two people are here. One just chilling there. See his arm. He can't peek out. The one way. Cuts him off. They don't know. They don't know! But the trade comes out, and now we're going to get the res off. First, the plant from Taku. Bubs. Being here. Cilantro. Oh! There's a pick. They, they don't notice it. Mr. Nice, oh, Mr. nice makes it even. 
but both players on Heidelberg are so low. We have a you res from Taku, and that's going to be a res on the Bubs. Bubs waking up with the operator. Taku with an insane pick. Here. Going in for more. Taku sees his arm, hits him. Here. He's 1 HP. He, he has, has to, to save. save. With that eco, only 2,000 in the bank. You have to save there. You're 1 HP as well. You can't even push out. You could get breathed on. I believe the Sage Molly would just... <laughs> this is a lot of slowness. And I believe that's going to be a save. The op stays for another round if Bubs keeps this op. And mind you, an op on attack is just blatantly worse than an op on defense. So Bubs is making waves with this operator. And we're going to see the stat line at the moment. Mick Lubin and Bubs are going to be fighting I for that. Most all max creds. McLovin and Bubs are just making a tear on this. And look, Heidelberg can't buy. Heidelberg has not been able to buy this entire game. It's very Still rough for them. Spade just has a marshal. That's all he can. That's all he can afford here. And it really, like Marietta, really doesn't have that offensive of a composition. I mean, they have the Sage Slow to cut off rotates and smokes, but aside from that, they really don't have as much offensive power. Also, mind you, the alt situation, that Hubert has not been able to have any alts to turn these rounds. They're not fighting for orb control. And that's gonna be the first pick from Critical Miss. They're exploding on the site here. McLovin playing a little slow. Waiting for his team, and we're gonna just see Bubs holding this down. He knows he got Molly out, so he's just gonna be running away from that Molly. This is a great Molly from Skillful Spade. They're really trying to force out that angle, but here it is. Bubs sees the but doesn't quite get the shot he's looking for. Spicy holding the angle. There's a the dart. They have to run away from this. Bubs gets tagged by the dart. Critical miss is here. They know they all rotated. Critical miss gets seen. They know the gig is up. They're rotating. Radical. Running it down. You see Mr. Nice, and that's gonna be Mudkip getting picked by McLovin, who's just staying there lurking. And we see Mr. Nice, beautiful pick on Spicy Cilantro, stops that Molly from going out. Okay, they know both are there. Exploding out here, critical miss. Doesn't have Spike, but it's gonna be talking and planning. Molly comes out, Mr. Nice cannot push for a good angle. Talking's just gonna wall off elbow. And McLovin with a pistol kill, what did I miss? Miss McLovin just dueled the marshal with his pistol. Bubs ops that recon dart. Make sure one to completely eviscerate it. And Taku with the one kill. Mr. Nice I'm trying to make it even. But he has two on him. See. He knows one's there. The what an amazing pick. He's tagged. Mr. Nice tag. Critical miss. Clutching it there. It was going to be very hard for McLovin to come around and help there. Critical miss. Really going strong for his team. And that's going to be Heidelberg in a rough spot. I believe they're all going to be able to buy guns this round. Regardless of the kills that they got, the Marietta's economy Marietta is, is Marietta's good for the rest of the game. For the rest of the, the half at this point. We're going to see the insane amount of plays happening between these two. Pushing it out here. Spice and cilantro. They're taking shower control. A lot of... Right there. My ultimate is ready. Gonna see a lot. Right here, just waiting. Waiting patiently, trying to get that spot. Bubs is hungry for a pick here. He knows one's lamps. It's a five stack on five, or four stack on five. That jet is just watching. Oh, Bubs, as soon as I turn it. away, Skillful Spade peeks out. It's gonna be a Our dart. It's gonna down. get Bubs. Spike Mr. Nice a. with two on B. This that puts them in the driver's it's seat, making it. In favor of Hudelberg, and he's gonna be lurking here. Bubs is gonna turn it with his ult. Make sure no one's here. Get the spike. But they don't know where Mr. Nice is. McLovin and Mr. Knight are gonna cross right here. Mr. Nice doesn't know. He doesn't know! And McLovin! You should run! Oh, attacker KJ! Bubs is down spike with Spike! Spice is a launcher, gets one. He's gonna need to clutch it up here. And they're out. Attacker KJ. It's actually gonna tag their KJ. He's not gonna be able to stop it in time. That's one detained, but they've already rotated. They don't know that both of Heidelberg's members are just on A still, and that's gonna be the plant going down. Spicy cilantro. Get that plant down. The plant down just in time. 12 seconds left on that clock, and now they have control over his B site, and Heidelberg is now forced to retake. 
Placing swarm grenade. I see swarm grenade out. Puts the swarm grenade just to stall. He doesn't know they're wrapping. They're wrapping around to the hookah here. 2v2. 2v2. Both, both squads are relatively similar HP stats. Very slow here. They're waiting for that turret to go off. As soon as that turret goes off or gets destroyed, spicy cilantro. Here he is, waiting. Three. He heard the drop. He's gonna be going. They don't have time. They don't have time. Just pulled the knife out. They're not doing anything. The smoke comes through, and that's just gonna be McLovin not gonna be able to save his gun, but spicy cilantro gets out. There just wasn't enough time. There's not enough time to clear all those angles. There's just too much to look at. You see the smiles coming out from Cilantro on his player cam. But also, recent addition, thanks to our other new sponsors, Elgato and... I'm blanking on the last name. Corsair. Why. Corsair, that's right. <laughs> we got a ton of new streamwares, like said, um, player cams, which is a great addition to the stream. Can really see all of the amazing players here and absolutely hopping off. This is oh, Mr. Nice with the amazing pick there. Let's see if Taku can top it. Taku with the pick! Gets that refrag. It's a great refrag. Mr. Nice wanted more. Heals himself there, tops him off. It's even at the moment. Bubs pushing here. Raid hears them all clomping through. So this is his last leer out. They know he's pushing good. on. He only has a Spectre, he can't do much! And that's like that, that's gonna be that plank going down. The ult's not gonna be able to get anything. The ult needed to happen in the hookah, wasting her as soon as they had the footsteps for it to have that impact. Taku gonna be walling Bubs off here. Bubs is just gonna be fighting for this CT control, but we're gonna see in the back, Spicy Cilantro holding off hookah. Spicy Cilantro. Taku goes down, but Bubs is gonna kick. Just gonna get him. Let's go full spade. Get Spicy Cilantro. They know they're in hookah. Have the information. Bubs is here. They have the information. Sees one. Mudkip doesn't quite get it. Let's go full spade. Critical miss is just hiding. One and nice. Oh, and look at is. that. The crossfire. What an ins Look at this. Last round Absolute the switch. just synergy coming here. Bubs and Octavio. They're just looking there. They were just one got that information and was just being able to sit in CT and hold hookah. So whenever they dropped, they had to drop separate. And when they did, Bugs cleaned up one and Critical Miss cleaned up the other. An amazing play from both of those, from both players there. Bugs. Going aggressive here. Looking lamps. Everyone does. Mr. Nice. Waiting. Patiently. It's Look the at two this duelists standoff. about to make way into each Some other. Of these entries. Will one make space for the other? We'll see the leer. Goes out. They know he likes sitting in that corner. Can't do it every time, buddy. And there's the information. But oh, he, walks he into can't him. get out. Critical misses Critical there. Is already there. The wall does go up. Spicy Cilantro knows he's pushing in. Are they gonna go through showers? McLovin is gonna get that plant down. That's Critical Miss with another pick. Oh, that's an insane dart. Hits everyone on point. They know he's in showers. Spicy Cilantro just gonna be able to make sure he can't do it. What an insane play from Critical Miss. Critical Miss at 8, 8, 6 HP. Asking for a Sage heal, most likely. Can I please have a heal Sage? He's gonna peek out. And that's gonna be Spicy Cilantro with that next kill. Here. Six and straight rounds Let us on the check first that half. Score. Next half, we're going to be seeing Bubs at the top of the leaderboard. In, re in respect, Mr. Nice has been trying his hardest to make space for his team. 14 kills on the board to use the walls and the smokes that the Brimstone and the Viper are making for him. But the, the site holds for, it's just, it's not as good. And I believe that Marietta has the better comp here for defense with that Sage and that KJ. This is a defense, defense cider map here. And we're going to see that they got 10 rounds on attack. It's just going to be so hard for Heidelberg to bring this back. 
Now we're gonna see the pistol round. We saw how Heidelberg dominated the pistol round here. Let's see if they can do it again. Mr. Nice dashing out for info. Gets a little, sees the turret, but now they know. They're very aware. Bubs rotating in. The two on site. Just spices Elantra holding on site. McLovin is gonna be cut off here. Mr. Nice peeking out. That's gonna be an insane pick. It's gonna, get, it's gonna get traded though. Critical miss. Doesn't quite get the kill, but Bubs is out here trying to make a difference, and he does. Raid gets a pick. It's 2v1. Raid finds the pick. Spray. Bubs with the spray. 3k for Bubs. What a performance. Now, usually it's decided in Valorant if you win the pistol, you win the game. And that makes it 11 straight for Marietta. They are rolling with momentum here. Only two more rounds. If they can clutch up with two more rounds, and what is this Vandal second round? Yeah. Bubs is going for blood. Like a shark in the water. And we're gonna see a full save coming out from Heidelberg. They need... Let me see. Gonna be Bubs. She's gonna in here. Slow as it goes. Lost some audio. But no, no matter, no matter at all. Critical miss. With this here, Taku gets a pick. That's amazing. What a flawless victory there. Sorry for the technical issues there. Lost sound there, but... I, Again, another flawless. Look, Match one more round. You blinked and you missed it. The absolute domination from these teams. And we're going to see that Taku is actually putting in so much work for his team. These Sage Walls and these Heals are the difference maker here. You cut off that line of sight. You cut off the ability for them to be able to do anything. And then that, that's, that's just going to be a dub for your team. We're also going to be seeing these KJ setups are impactful. As long as this turret stays up, they do not have to rotate or stack on B at all with these turrets. These bots control the map. If you do not destroy these bots, you do not get control. And we're going to see a slow push through Hookah. Smokes come down. They know, but they don't understand that both players are not playing with the smokes are for. They don't know they're completely stacked. The smoke does go out. We're going to see rotates coming through here. McLovin gets a pick. Dash is right and that's, that's spike on sight. Spike down, B. That's there spike down. Oh, the flash. That's true. Believe we clean up. Spice is Cilantro. What a spray. This Mudkip is in hookah. It's just sees his head. Mudkip. They can turn it. It's a 2v. It is a 2v1. And Mudkip has, has a good control. gun. They have sight control. Have all the util. But that's going to be Bubs. Shutting down Hiddleberg's attempt of a comeback. 2 to 13. What a performance. And we're going to see all these players have an, an insane just performance there. It's going to be amazing. All these players, so excited to see this. And that's going to be round one, going to be taken by Marietta. Marietta going absolutely crazy with that game. It's just, it's just that. It's just. It was just as clean as that. So it looked a little bit dicey those first two rounds. I was a little bit confused. I'm just like, oh, see, Heidelberg has has the advantage here, but mm -hmm. it seems that teamwork makes the dream work. We saw Marietta combined while pushing out together. They were able to get their comms under control. They were able to play completely together. Yeah. That is just exactly what we want to see there. And we see the MVP of that round, I believe it, right there was um it was bubs bubs the Dorena duelist as we know absolutely awesome as we see was able to go out absolutely just frag out of his mind his leers were impactful we saw the kj sitting in the corner multiple times mr mudkit and he was just able to get sat down because he couldn't see if you can't see your opponent you can't you can't uh, you can't shoot back at them mm-hmm and a great first round. I mean, I really don't know what else there is to say. We'll see them recoup and talk with each other for a minute on what they're going to do with this momentum going into game two. Um, I'm excited to see what type of composition they will run again. Um, I mean, they did have a lot of utility based players on their team. I mean, considering 
the economy situation that Heidelberg was put in was uh, pretty unfortunate. <laughs> Yes, if you don't have money to buy, you can't really compete there. And really, the amount of times that they that they saved it was just it was too impactful. If you save those guns, you don't get as much money because you don't die to bomb. You don't die actually fighting for something. So it, the snowball is just insane. You had to get kills on those eco rounds. At least just one pick to stop that eco. But the Marietta just went flawless. And when you go flawless, you just get that insane snowball effect where they bought every single round after the third round marietta had full shields full guns full util and completely stomped out heidelberg so we're gonna go over and see some of the stats that we saw here um for the match and one second i'm gonna see just something real quick okay nope. <laughs> huh. we're trying to see the stats real quick of the last round one moment please there we go. Here we go. Okay, so the stats of this round. We saw Bubs go absolutely crazy. Right behind him was Mick Lovin with 15 picks. Bubs was that entry as we were talking about. And look at this econ rating. Econ rating is the economy that you have throughout the entire game. Look at Bubs and Mick Lovin. 105 and 128. They bought so much. It was just absolutely insane. So we're gonna go on and look at these first bloods. Bubs the first bloods king. Look at this. He five, is our entry player. Five first bloods, five rounds he made an insane amount of space for his team. And we saw that right after Bubs got that first pick, the execute started. We saw the push out from showers, the push out from from long, from short, and just the taking of that lamps control. An insane showing. Yeah. Um I do love to see what Marietta's doing here, and I really love to see the excitement in chat. Um, thanks for giving us uh, some fun stuff to look at. I mean, honestly, y'all's excitement turns into our excitement, and it's really just so much fun. Um, hearing them right outside, they're all pretty energetic, and they're buzzing out there. They're yeah. hype. They want this first dub of the season smash bros almost pulled it out that was a super close game but the valorant they're pulling it out the first w4 mc against their rival heidelberg so these stats looking very good we saw the timeline we saw that again first round flawless for heidelberg Going back into the lobby here, I believe we're going to be having a sub at the moment. It's going to be Vova for for the Mudkip. Um, you're going to see the Mudkip was playing the Sentinel that round. They were playing KJ. So we're going to see if Vova is going to go in and play that Sentinel role. Maybe has like a little Cypher one trick or something that just knows good setups. Because that is something that's really hard to have all of those setups just always there all the time. Yeah. And um, I'm going to go look at another one of our sponsors that we have. Already mentioned them later today, but HyperX is just an insane supporter of the Marietta, of, of the Marietta program. Really, mice, keyboards, headsets, mouse pads, and microphones. They have donated so much stuff to our program, and we are using it every single day. It is, It has gone through the test of time so far. We have so many players in the room practicing, playing all the time. And if it wasn't for HyperX, our awesome sponsor, we would not be able to have as much equipment as we do. So thank you, HyperX, for this amazing sponsor that you've been giving us. Another quick thing to mention before we get into this next game. Um, Twitch Prime. If you subscribe with Twitch Prime, you can get some custom Marietta emotes. I mean, as seen on the screen, we've got a couple of our own things to mess around with. Um, if you just connect your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you can get a free subscription um, and use Marietta emotes in Marietta chat just to vamp up these games even more. I will say that the faces of the director and of the coach are tier two and tier three subs. So if you want to see their beautiful face and use them on Twitch, you're going to have to go for a tier two or tier three. But we're right now in our game on our second map haven and we're gonna see the we're gonna be seeing the insta lock viper 
Viper on Haven, I love seeing it. There are so many avenues of control you can have with Viper. Add fake pressure mid, add an execute wall. I want to see some Viper lineups. We might see a double Sentinel comp again for Marietta, as well as Critical Miss on his signature KJ. He, had a, a, he was one of those quiet stars for Marietta last round. I mean, he really helped bubs take over as much as he did with some amazing flashes amazing intel off of that knife and it looks like they're going to be running a very similar composition to the last game the only difference we see here is that spices launcher instead of going for that kj is locking in that cypher i let it see some cypher gameplay and that's going to be a lock for marietta there we're Except seeing a talking, deadlock it is Almost the exact same gameplay. We are seeing a deadlock. I'm not exactly sure how she fares in the competitive scene quite yet. I haven't quite seen her in pro play. So we're going to see what deadlock looks like in a team environment. How is she going to utilize that wall to stop the movement? How is she going to utilize these sensors? Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be really important that Marietta decides to play around sound this game considering one of Deadlock's abilities is based off of the sound around. If you start making noise, it's going to concuss you, I believe? It does concuss you, yeah. Concuss, yeah. Don't know the exact terms. Again, I'm not exactly a Valorant player, but I do love to watch and interact and play sometimes. So. Oh, the, the fancy words of that don't really matter. No one calls it concuss. They call it a lot of fancy other names that everyone has different. And there is a good luck, have fun in chat. Of course, this is all very sportsmanlike. Everyone's sportsman, like everyone wants to play. For fun is the underlying tone of this. Yes, we're competing. Yes, we're having a great, but the main focus is having a great time. So we're going to see Vova, the new player, coming out here. But we're going to see that we are also on attack again, first off. Mm -hmm. Haven is a unique site because it has three different three different sites you can play on. And we're going to see this Viper Wall cutting off B main and cutting off C main. A good Viper Wall also having control there. They're going to be dashing out on a Vova holding this angle. Let's see how she fares. Oh, oh it just away, barely just pulls away. There's that knife. They're going to get up. They know. Bugs is entering. And that's going to be the first pick. Vova. And we're going to see Skillful Spade having to pull back. And they're already Bubs. getting that plant down. Bubs with that soul eat already at so much health. It's like having full shields on pistol round. Look at this. What an insane headshot. It's two down for Bubs. He's already setting a precedent for this game. Taku walling off CT. That's great. He knows. He knows. Bubs knows. But he gives a pick. That's three. That's three. And we're going to see Spicy Cilantro with the flank. Millie Rock doesn't know that he's here and he's just going to. No way. What? <laughs> Look at the elation oh, on Cilantro's face. There is no way we were able to catch that. Oh my goodness. That was great. The total whiff on that first ring oh saw that. Oh my goodness. What was that? Spicy Cilantro absolutely elated. There was absolutely no way for that Viper to know that Spicy was there. So he just pulled up with the, the missed knife for the first time. I'm definitely clipping that one. And then we got the actual knife on the next one. Mm -hmm. Spicy Cilantro. I'm already starting off strong. And now we're going to be seeing a garage push critical miss with that knife. Not getting a lot of intel here. Doesn't know anyone's here. That's going to be... Wait! Not oh, looking God, down. God. Garage does not realize that that's going to be... Oh, and that's good there. And that's going to be Mr. Nice going to be sat down. No damage on these players for Marietta. And they this already person. have control and plant down. This early into the round is really... Oh, beneficial. McLovin! Again, a strong precedent on attack. They're just playing so Spicy outwardly Cilantro. aggressive. What a pin. Beautiful crosshair placement there. And Vova coming in. Oh, the camera! The timing! Cilantro! Starting off strong on these first couple rounds. That timing on the camera. Oh my goodness. And it's all smiles for Mr. Spicy here. All well, smiles. So we're going to be seeing wonderfully. full buys coming out from Kittleberg. We're going to be seeing two Vandals and three Phantoms. On this map, usually Phantom is king, except if you're going C. That, I would say, is definitely a Vandal territory, but we're going to see a full bonus from Marietta. They're trying to take these Spectres into the third round to make sure that they increase their lead. If they get a pick on anyone on Heidelberg, it is going to do just devastation on the eco. 
See Bub's lurking up mid here. They're unaware. Mills Rock. They don't know. It is a B execute. They don't know. The blind comes out. Mills Rock can't see. What a TP into the smoke as well. Bubs gets that phantom online. This is dangerous. Mr. Just nice does get a pick smoke. there. But Bubs knows. Oh, he sees oh, it. Oh, there it goes. There's the first. There's the second pick. And they're cut off on that A side. You do. Or on that B side. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, that C side with that. Uh, sage wall. That sage wall. Cutting them off. They finally break it. And he's just there. They don't know up. that Mr. Nice is lurking here. Bob just gets a third. Healer Mr. Down. Nice gets a pick on Taku. The call does come out. Bubs. Slowly. Nose. One gets the pick. That's four. He is going for it. He's going for it. Don't kill him. No! Oh. Mick 11. The Mick 11 steals the ace. That's all right though, but the important part is is that they stole the econ of Heidelberg. Bubs with eight kills coming out in the first three rounds. This man is a demon. Devastation, the start of this. Spicy cilantro. And this as well. Just absolutely, just look at the synergy that they have. They're all exploding on the site at the same time. This is what you want to see on an attacking round. And again, another silent hero of this game is go. going to be Taku. He's giving them so much space to be able to just work around and take Shutting what they down. want. Bubs knows, he knows, he knows. The gig is up, but he gets picked. Mr. Nice gets traded. McLovin grabs two. McLovin does grab two. It it is unlucky that the Reyna ult did get cancelled there, but the refrag is all the more sweet. McLovin going for a pick, but that gave Miller Rock no, a Marietta, He's 1 HP. First time in this game has a disadvantage, although considering Viper is only at 5 HP, they really don't have as much of an advantage as you'd like to see. Talking gets found out, gets Viper mollied, but they're playing, they're playing post plant here. They don't really mind. Yes, they have sight, but KO has a nade. He can just molly this. Taku with a pick. What an insane play. Taku pulls out the, the slow. One enemy remaining. Playing for time. Playing for time. Critical miss. Knows. Has to rush him. There it is. But there's no time for skill for spade. So he's just going to make out with a the gun. There we go. Round four taken. And again, the econ of Marietta. They don't care. They can just buy four next round. Look. There it goes. And even buy an op. Buying an op, buying vandals and four shields, and there's not a lot happening here. <laughs> Alrighty, as we start off, we are already seeing Bubs with the op in hand. Four rounds in. This is crazy economy, and he still has 3k sitting in his back pocket. Look, the only reason why we didn't see it round three is because he was bonusing. <laughs> that playing with fire here. Raid pulls out the bow. Oh my goodness, the shoulder check. Watch out, Bubs will take off your head with this op. We're gonna be putting it in here. Someone needs to shoot it, and it tags Bubs. Spam's coming out. Oh, I think Bubs knows. Bubs knows! Doesn't quite get the pick! Bubs is sent down the one HP. Critical miss! What a beautiful nade! Are they gonna give that safe oh, spade? spade. That it's gonna kill the lurking cilantro. And look, he already has got Reyna back up to full HP. Oh, the miss! She sidestepped at the wrong time! McLovin, critical miss, pushing in critical miss with that pick is amazing. Now it's even actually in the favor of Marietta. They're all grouped up here, they're all rotating A. Heidelberg all rotating A. Let's see if Marietta gets the read and see if they're going to run into it. They get how they read! They know they're going to run into a stack, they go back C! There's no one defending this! They have no util set up for it. Um, slow as it goes. They don't like find anyone. A this is where the execute comes in. Using all their util, but seconds no left. one's here. The plant will go Cover down for free. Out. They hear it. Vova has to lurk slowly. They have Spike full planted. control. And an op to boot. Taku getting that heal back online soon as well to heal the Reyna up to full. This situation is very unfortunate. There's that heal I was talking about. Is very unfortunate for Heidelberg. It is going to be a feat of skill and strength to his oh, critical miss. And Mr. Nice are going to be bumping heads here. Let's see it. 
Slow as it goes, Mr. Nice. Swings out, doesn't check the corner! Unlucky! As soon as he pushes out, is not expecting Critical Miss to be there. And that, I believe, is gonna be a save. Oh, many rocks! Runs into Critical Miss! He's hunting for the ace, Vova, and that's gonna be an ace for Critical Miss! The first ace of the series! For the initiator, having a beautiful start to this second map, already sitting at five straight rounds, making this a continuous 18 straight rounds for Marietta. You just love to see it. Marietta is absolutely gunning for this win. They want that first win of this season against their rival, Heidelberg. This is what you just love to see. This intensity of gameplay oh, we're gonna see them explode out again bubs with the um again season again economy is just great, great for marietta great news raid dodged a bullet the first time skillful oh. spade gets one but gets traded out critical miss no ways this round <laughs> gonna see oh, raid gets spotted. spotted out again the dart comes through Bubs just misses it Cilantro having this control, and there's the yes. paint, there's the off, McLovin gets raided, and there's the info on the last player, and it's gonna be Spicy Cilantro oh. shooting it down, and McLovin gonna be helping him out here. There's nothing for the Sage oh, to do. And there it goes. Only losing one player there. And honestly, that player is econ is insane. I mean, you can't really buy this round. You can, but like if they lose this round, if Hiddleburg lose this round, they're going back to nothing. They cannot buy at all that they lose this round. 19 straight. Can they go for 20? Is a total steamroll as of right now. We'd love to see Heidelberg respond and make this somewhat close. Heidelberg, what they need to do, they need to be able to play as a team and cut off all these avenues. We see the Viper are not quite up yet, so we're going to see them playing very aggressive here with the Orb, trying to cut off that, but they're going Garage. Critical Miss absolutely just storms in the Garage. Oh, I don't know if they know. Lock. They're watching it. This is very dangerous. This is a mid push. We're gonna see the players mid. Just has to play slow. What a, Still what a kill! It. As soon as I turn away, Vova checking where his friend died from a critical miss. Hungry for it, McLovin. It gets picked by Mr. Nice. Spicy cilantro gonna be helping critical miss out here. They are not right on there. sight, and there's Vova going down the lurk. Just get spotted out there. See these players, Bubs holding it still. They know C is free. They're gonna be running for it. Yeah. We're gonna see Taka miss get that point down. Slowly, oh, just misses it. And that's gonna be a trade. The op is down mid. They're gonna be gunning for it. Mr. Nice needs this op. If he's gonna turn this, what a big critical miss with a 4K. A 3K, actually, going for the 4K. I can quite get the info, and that's gonna be Mr. They nice with know. the op. Not great for clutches. Trades yep. it for a Vandal. He had to have heard that. Okay, let's see, critical miss. He hears the footsteps. Oh! oh. But Mr. Nice swings out. And He's there's gonna be Taku with a trade. An insane trade for Taku there. There it is. 20 rounds. 20 rounds. I can't believe it. 20 rounds in a row. 20 round domination. The mental for Heidelberg must be at an all time low. There's no way you can go 20 rounds straight loss. They need to concoct something. Some out of. out of the world skill uh, some strategy that they have to counter this absolute offense that Marriott is having they're just storming on the site with picks they and just they're playing two sentinels because they're able to play so aggressively get into sight and set up and be able to defend uh, the so thing, easily the thing that's bugging me is the viper walls there's not enough of them they're not playing with enough utility mike lovin there's no way he does that what is that play he uses his ult to get right up and personal. And now they just have control again. Oh, Mr. Nice getting a pick there. And we playing there. Notice Spike the spikes planted. going down. See if he can do anything. Waiting for his team. But he gets walled? What a wall. He you know he's there. Bova. Trying to come in here. They hear spicy cilantro. They hear him pitter pattering. They know he's there. Spicy cilantro. This really comes down to cilantro holding this flank. And now they. Oh. Yup, there he hears them. 
I'll be saving. Mr. Nice knows he's on the box. Does he know? Oh, he falls! And then spicy cilantro with the 3k. What an awesome lurk from this Cypher player. Cypher's not even good on attack. Remember, what the prince it's just player diff, I guess. It's just good crime <laughs> Cypher is just absolutely just dominating here. He's able to have these trips for this for the utility and just being able to have map control and no. He didn't put his camera around that. That did put even put his camera down that round. This is just an explosive play. They really are just pushing bubs and a critical miss to the stratosphere here. Critical miss as well. Bubs actually being overtaken by critical miss and spicy cilantro. This space maker is making space and his team is just dominating with these frags. Let's see. Again, this low buy round. This has to be. Oh, this pick, Bubs! What an amazing pick! I know exactly where you are. Playing slow, they know to put it up there. Talking, getting a little bit aggressive here. Go and see, go and see the plant. And they're they're hungry for it. McLovin has all this map control. They know they're not here. They know exactly where they are. Bubs with the insane pick there. Gonna be critical miss. Slow as he goes. It's a one v five. And there it is, a three k for Bubs. The explosiveness of Marietta. This team explodes on the side. I can't say it enough. 22 rounds straight. This is utter domination. And again, this is with a sub. This is with their sub in. Taku making an impact here. You see only three kills, but these walls, and he is always given the spike. The spike has been down almost every single round, and the spike hasn't gone down. That's because they killed him too the quickly. Plants. I would love to see the plant stats at the end of this game. I We will get a look on that. We're going to see Taku with like. 12 plants down. Enemy tag down there, but they're gonna explode on the site. This deadlock putting up our util. There it is. See critical miss. And skillful spade. It's gonna swing out here. Oh, the gunfight. It's scrappy. Cilantro goes down. Find the robots above here. On the site. Let's just get the pick and make a love. And the space was made. McLovin goes in. Mr. Nice trying to 1v4. Doesn't quite get it. And now it's all up to Miller Rock. Oh. The gig is up. They know his flank. Make love in here. Nine. He is aware. Critical miss. See that lurk from critical. Oh, and he's found. Critical. Stops the lurk from the Viper. Will we see a 13-0 for the second map? We could possibly see a 13-0. Marietta are coming out strong. These gamers have been gaming. <laughs> A little bit of the skin showing here. All right, well, now we have Critical Miss holding out that knife ready to, again, right off the bat, push in and take control. Well, Hyper is five stacking B. They're just right. absolutely running it on garage. They, they had to get rid of them five stack B. They're unaware. They don't know that site is free. Mr. Nice gets the pick. That's exactly what they need. Gets the knives. Doesn't quite get one. Spicy cilantro. Trying to go in. There's going to be critical miss. Getting the refrag. And right now it's in. Oh, it's in the side of Heidelberg. Heidelberg not going down without a fight. But Bubs with the Operator, the res comes through on a Critical Miss. Oh, Critical Miss goes down though. It's just Taku and Bubs. Bubs gets that pick, the res comes out. You know exactly where he is. Bubs doesn't quite get the pick there. He's defending the spike with his life. He's getting ulted here. There's one hit. There's a two hit. What am I watching? What am I witnessing? Oh my God, what the hell? Last round in the house. All smiles. 11 0. Possibly 12 0 on the first half. What would I. What, what, what was that? What was that round? Bubs got his ace. He got stolen earlier. What is that? That was criminal. Just he just know. ran him down with a classic. Just dice rolled into sight. What am I. That is improbable. That is insane. 
bubs with the operators unmatched. You're gonna get tagged here. They're running down. Ooh, a lot of poke damage on the bubs here. Is that around half HP? They're going on. There's that viper, There's that viper wall, wall stopping them. Looking on top there. Here's the dash, the dash on the side. They know the rotates are coming in. They see the spike. You can shoot through the wall and see the tracers. Seeing Bub looking for an op shot. They're running into a full five stack. And they have to know. Off. There's the flash blinds Bubs. They have to rotate. There's no way they stay here. Oh, make 11. They hear them here. They hear them. Look at that. They hear the rotates. They get walking in. Aware. There's no way. What timing. What timing? What timing? Make 11. And there's the B site plant. Now they just have to find Mr. Nice. Bubs and they have that control of the off your window. Critical miss. Sees one, sprays it down. Skillful spade gets spicy cilantro. Mr. Nice coming in here. Here's the reload. Gets one. Gets two. Mr. Nice does get stopped by Mick 11 here. Mick 11 with a 3k at the moment. Bubs playing from spawn. Waiting to see Vova trying to push in. They hear the pitter patter. The speed. There's one. Mick 11 doesn't break at the standing. ace. It's okay, it's though. It's the 4k, though, though and Bubs with the operator. You can't fight this. Vova tries to do something. He just has to play out the through. wall. The wall. The wall's what they needed. Oh, but they can't defuse. That's that's it. They can't defuse in time. Oh no, Vova could not um, quite get the defuse down. Bubs gets the op, saves it. He bought that op round, round three. Match point. Round four, that op has traveled all the way into the 12th round. It almost had it to the 13th. What an insane play. Bubs with a dominating 18 kills here. This is just wild. The, ag the pure aggression and control of this whole situation, the entire game. For reference, this is 20 five rounds in a row. Not, not quite 25 rounds. No, but it's 25. It's, it is 25. It is 25 rounds in a row. They won 13 straight on the first map, and now they're up 12 straight. This is insane. Let's see if they can clutch out a win here. 26. They just need a pistol round. That is a very good spot. Spotted. They know where they're coming but from. But this is a cypher. Played all oh, the trap, the trip. Critical miss rotating. There's only McLovin on site. He's getting swarmed. Playing slow. That's a play there. Bubs gets a pick, and that's gonna be Skillful Spade down. Two v five. Critical miss with one. But the right pick, and Bubs gets the last kill. What a flawless round! And that's game two. And that is the series, everyone. Marietta absolutely dominated. Thirteen to zero. There is no question who is the better team here. What an insane, insane game here. I just, I can't even imagine. That was just 26 rounds straight of domination. Heelberg only won two rounds in a two game series. It's wild. That is insane. We're gonna be going over the score here just real quick at the moment. We all know who won, but now we're going to be going over the down the down play here. Just looking over these stats here. Look at that combat score. 401. That is insane. The econ rating is absolutely devastating. And then we're going to go in. Just look at that. And the plants. Look at Taku. Taku had 10 plants. The spike was down every single round for Marietta. 10 plants for Taku and then two for Critical Miss. We had two aces that game. We had an ace from Bubs and an ace from Critical Miss. What an insane game we had there. And the knife on the first round by Cilantro. This round was absolutely bonkers. This game, insane. Marietta pulled out all the stops for this for this game and absolutely deleted them. And right here, we're gonna have a, a, a post-game interview here with the one and the only Bubs. We're gonna be with that in just one second here. We're gonna do it just real quick. Able to go and see everything just to see everyone here.
It's going to be insane. Here we are with the one and only Bubs. Hey, man. That was an insane game, dude. I just... How was that? First question. How was that feeling when you aced? Oh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. My heart was bumping after that. You know, I was I was just kind of playing, and it just worked out like that way. The um, way you pistoled that Sova, that was otherworldly. And then you turned it right onto that sage. Yeah, we pulled the Captain Price. Your pistol's faster than a reload, you know? <laughs> so... Just went for that, snagged the phantom, and then uh, took out the sage, and we were good. And um, on Bind, that first map, you guys pulled out two flawlesses in a row mm -hmm. on their eco round. That set you up for success. How did it feel to just be able to buy a, a gun every single round, just I mean, not worrying about econ? It was nice, because we were we based our play off of their econ, so mm -hmm. we decided where we were going based off angles and, and range of their guns as well, so... It was nice to see that they were always at a low eco point because they'd buy and then lose it and we'd be back at a, a solid point with their eco. So um, it, it was a lot easier that way going into deciding which site to choose and how to attack each point. Awesome, awesome insight there. And um, again, you guys won 26 rounds in a row. That is just insane. Yeah. You lost those first two. You guys were feeling it out. First first real game on in the day. So after those first two rounds, it seemed you guys were warmed up and you were ready to dominate Heidelberg. How does it feel winning 26 rounds in a row? It's pretty crazy playing the first uh, game with these guys, just kind of feeling out our chemistry and such and communications. And, you know, I, I feel like we did really well being able to not drop a round after the first two. So... That pretty, is pretty insane for us. That is awesomely insane. And, um, of course, I have to mention, on Haven, um, you were about to go get an ace, and McLovin just oh, I know. snatched that from you. What, what, was the, what was the comms after that? I was, I was like, yo, 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 let me get the ace. Let me get the ace. And we're, I'm pushing the, the sage wall, and he just kills it. I'm like, dude, dude like, <laughs> what are you doing? I said, let me get the ace. He's like, my bad, my bad, man. I didn't hear you. Like, oh, my whatever. goodness. It happens every day. So... Um, that's all I really got here. Thank you, Bubs, for the great post-game interview. You are off to an amazing series and an amazing season for this. Absolutely. That'll be all. Thank you, Bubs. Thank you. Have a great day, man. Thank you as well. Keep up the great work. Will do. That's the post-game interview for today. And we're going to be um, going back again. We're going to have awesome... Uh, later on today, we're going to be also streaming some League of Legends here today. Um, again, I'm going to leave that to Evan with the L League of Legends. I am not great for that, but post-game interview was awesome. 13-0 that second game was just immaculate. Can't get better than that. Actually, you literally cannot get better than that. That is a flawless game. The mental for Marietta is at an all-time high. They're going to go into that next game with that same energy and rock just as hard. Agreed. Well, I believe that does it for a while. We have two hours before our next game starts, so the stream will be back up at around 2 o'clock, so we are going to take a intermission, and we will be back later. So thank you so much for coming in and supporting Marietta, and we will see you all soon. See you guys.